Hello football lovers, especially Chelsea fans. As usual, I will provide the latest and most updated news that I have summarized for you. But before that, I want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe. As usual before we start, I would like to say thank you to those who have commented on my previous video. Thanks to Okoro Henry. There is also Josephus Yene. Then there is James Okonofua. Then there is Daniel Obi. Next there is Adamu Danjuma Amor. There is also Tegopamungu Rubin. Then there is Michael Taylor. Then there is Zainab Nurani. Next there is Dominic Mwangeka. There is also Gilbert Courier. Then there is Jesse Barchu. Then there is Bobor Diallo. Next there is Christ Cruz. There is also Wasulawal. And the last one is Kelvin Moira. And all friends can leave comments below this video, so I can mention it in the next video. Thank you and enjoy watching. We look at the latest situation at Chelsea, with two of their key defenders, Mark Cucurella and Wesley Fofana, set to miss their next Premier League game through suspension. Let's take a look at what happened and how it will affect the team. Chelsea have been in fine form with five straight wins in all competitions. They are still unbeaten in the league since the opening day defeat to Manchester City. However, they will face Liverpool at Anfield without their two main defenders. Cucurella and Fofana were both booked in the game against Nottingham Forest. Cucurella was booked for his reaction to an on-field incident, while Fofana was booked for a late challenge. The pair have now collected five yellow cards in just seven games. Enzo Maresca must find replacements for the two defenders. Tosin Adarabioyo or Axel De Sassi could be used as Fofana's replacement, while Renato Vega could potentially fill in at left back. An alternative strategy could involve moving Levi Colwell to left back with Tosin and De Sassi moving in the middle. Cucurella and Fofana will be back in action when Chelsea face Panathinaikos in the Europa Conference League on October 24th. After that, Chelsea will also face Newcastle United in the Premier League and the Carabao Cup. Chelsea face a big challenge without two of their key defenders in the upcoming matches. How will they adapt to the situation? Can they maintain their positive form? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. Next we will discuss the interesting news about Cole Palmer and the shirt he wore when he scored four goals against Brighton. Let's see. In the match against Brighton at Stamford Bridge, Cole Palmer scored four goals in just the first half. This is a new record in the Premier League, making him the first player to achieve this feat. Chelsea eventually won with a score of 4-2, and Palmer was the main spotlight. After the match, the shirt worn by Palmer was sold at auction via the Match Worn Shirt website. The shirt, signed by Palmer, was initially opened with a bid of £75. However, the price skyrocketed to £34,411 after intense bidding from fans. Interestingly, part of the auction proceeds will be donated to the Chelsea Foundation. This is a great initiative and shows that fans are not only getting memorabilia, but also contributing to charity. The amount of money raised from the sale of this shirt shows how popular Cole Palmer is today. He is now on the list of players with the most expensive shirts ever sold, ranking seventh on the site. This further cements his status as a rising star. Above Palmer, there are some big names such as Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Messi holds the record for the highest selling shirt, with a shirt sold for almost 50,000 pounds. Palmer's shirt, although not as high, is still one of the most expensive in Premier League history. Cole Palmer's success is not only seen on the pitch, but also off it with some very valuable memorabilia. This achievement is a highlight in his young career and we can all hope to see more from the talented youngster in the future. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on Cole Palmer's achievement and the shirt sold. Next, we will discuss the latest news, where Chelsea are threatened with a £50,000 fine by the FA after receiving six yellow cards in a draw against Nottingham Forest. Let's take a closer look at this incident. On October 6th, Chelsea played against Nottingham Forest at Stamford Bridge. The match ended with a score of 1-1. Although Chelsea had 66% possession and had eight shots on target, they faced quite serious disciplinary problems. In this match, Chelsea player Moises Caicedo received the first yellow card in the 21st minute. The match became even more tense when Nottingham Forest also received a yellow card. And in total, there were six yellow cards given to Chelsea players. Cole Palmer received a second yellow card for protesting in the 75th minute. In the final minutes, there was a brawl involving Mark Cucurella, Levi Colwell, and Neko Williams, which resulted in yellow cards for all three. 
the FA will reportedly impose a fine of £50,000 on Chelsea. This is Chelsea's second violation of the season, after they were previously fined £25,000 for eight yellow cards in the match against Bournemouth. In total, Chelsea now have to pay a fairly large fine. Enzo Maresca expressed his opinion on his team's performance. He felt his team played well in the first half, even though they struggled in the second half after conceding a goal. Maresca also emphasized that he did not see any discipline problems in his team, and they will continue to fight together. That's the latest news about Chelsea and the fine they face. What do you think about the team's discipline? Should Chelsea be more careful in the next match? Next, we will discuss Cole Palmer, Chelsea's rising star, and how he compares to football legend Cristiano Ronaldo. Gary Neville said that Palmer has a unique trait that reminds him of Ronaldo in his youth. Let's take a deeper look at Palmer and why he is considered special. Chelsea brought him in for a transfer fee of £42.5 million in the summer of 2023. Since joining, Palmer has been impressive. He has scored six goals and provided four assists in eight matches in all competitions. These statistics show that Palmer is not only a talented young player, but also capable of making a significant contribution to the team. During his career at Manchester City, Palmer has recorded 31 goals and 19 assists in 53 appearances, making him one of the most promising young players in the Premier League. Gary Neville observed Palmer's game and noted that he had the ability to be in the position that the team needed, similar to Cristiano Ronaldo when he was at the peak of his form at Manchester United, 2006 to 2008. Neville commented, Palmer can move from the middle to the right, left or up front, and that shows a great tactical understanding. This is a characteristic that shows that Palmer does not just play according to instructions, but also understands the game as a whole. Neville emphasized that Palmer has a deep understanding of the dynamics of the game. He is able to read situations and exploit weaknesses in opponents, similar to Ronaldo in his youth. Palmer is known for his extraordinary technical ability, both in dribbling and finishing. He shows a calmness in front of goal, which is very important for a striker. Neville stated that Manchester City made a big mistake by selling Palmer. You would not believe how City let go of a player like him. He has the potential to be a big star, said Neville. Like Ronaldo, who was initially doubted, Palmer showed that he can develop into a very influential player for the team. His potential can change the course of the game in every match. In an interview, Palmer was asked about his idol player. He chose Lionel Messi as the figure who inspired him the most. Palmer said, who did I want to be when I was a kid? Lionel Messi. Palmer also acknowledged Cristiano Ronaldo as the best finisher ever. In the interview, he named several other great players and gave his opinion. Best player, Kevin De Bruyne. Best finisher, Cristiano Ronaldo. Best dribbler, Neymar. He also named Kylian Mbappé and Vinicius Jr. as two of the best players currently. Cole Palmer shows a lot of potential to become one of the biggest stars in world football, with abilities that make him similar to legends like Cristiano Ronaldo. He not only has technical skills, but also tactical understanding that makes him invaluable to Chelsea. Do you think Palmer will achieve the same success as Ronaldo? Leave your comments below. Next, we will discuss Noni Madueki's statement after Chelsea's match against Nottingham Forest which ended in a 1-1 draw. Let's see how he felt and the challenges Chelsea are currently facing. Noni Madueke expressed his frustration after the draw. Although he managed to score the opening goal for Chelsea, he felt great pressure because many quality players were waiting for the opportunity to play. Any bad performance could threaten their position in the first team. Madueke praised Nottingham Forest for their resilience. They are very strong and have a lot of players who defend. We know if we are given space, we can be dangerous, but sometimes the chances don't come," he said. He noted that although Chelsea created many chances, the opposing team managed to maintain a solid defense. Noni stated, We should have scored three, four, or even five goals. But it was one of those games where we couldn't break their defense. This shows how frustrated he was when his team could not get three points at home. Although he was substituted late in the match and looked a little injured, Madueke did not report any injuries in his interview. This has raised hopes that he will be ready to feature for England in the upcoming international break. Fans will be hoping he can be at his best when Chelsea take on Liverpool at Anfield after the break. Chelsea must now focus on improving their performance 
and overcoming this frustration. Madueke and his teammates must make the most of the opportunities presented to them and ensure they are ready for the important games ahead. That was Noni Madueke's view after the match against Nottingham Forest. What do you think of Chelsea's performance and Nottingham Forest's strategy? Do you believe Chelsea will bounce back in the next match?